Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Share this video if you're feeling it. All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see in the, the image, uh, Meta World Peace, a.k.a. Ron Artest, who was a two-time NBA champion with the Lakers, uh, tweeted about Victor Win by Miyama. And he said that Wim is winning 10 titles potentially. He might win MVP this year. Definitely first team all defense and first team all NBA. Potentially the first player to be the most improved as a rookie. And I'm not going to lie, Victor Wimbayana, he's had a couple of games. I've seen he snapped, dunked on Durant. He went for 38. And, you know, the NBA, you can tell that they're putting their money behind him as far as the, the, gen, the Gen Zers. And, you know, they're looking for a new face since LeBron will be exiting from the league here soon, next several years. So, you know, there's been this, this big hype around him. And I've known about Victor Wumbayama for at least the last three years. Excuse me, uh, last three years. There's actually footage of him uh, going up against Rudy Gobert when he was, <laughs> I guess, he would basically be considered a high schooler if he was here in the States. But anyway, uh, the victim Wambayama train is real and people are jumping on and people are seeing he's a unicorn and he's going to change the league and... And while he has had a phenomenal game, everybody, we got we to gotta just slow down just a little bit. He's only played five, six games in. 70 plus something more games to go. We got to see. I've even seen people saying he may be better than LeBron. Sure, he might be. We also thought Zion would be. I mean, we we don't know. Let's give the, let's give the, give Victor some, some, some time. And I'm sure he's embracing it, and he wants to be the next up. But we don't know. I mean, hopefully he stays healthy. Hopefully he stays focused and disciplined because they start throwing all that money around. You never know, or the, or the fame get to him, and he just he feel like he already made it before he made it as far as winning rings. And for him to be in the same category as LeBron. And again, I'm just giving my opinion. He would have to win. LeBron won four MVPs out of five years. I would have to see Victor win at least three out of four with, and he got to win back to back MVPs. But yes, I will note that he's a phenomenal player. It's just another, this is another example of why foreigners are taking over. I did see something earlier too, and I was going to make a separate video where. The NBA is potentially thinking about it being Team USA versus the world in the All-Star Games instead of East versus West or whatever. But I think we'll, the US will get beat every time. I feel like a lot of the, a lot of the international players are better. They're they're taught better. and They're not spoiled. And, yeah. But, listen, I'm, I'm rooting for Victor, man, that brother. I hope he gets everything. But let's just... Let's just slow down. Remember, everybody thought Lonzo would be up next. He had a bad game, but then he had a triple-double uh, game two of the Lakers. And he's had a good career, but, you know, he's had health or injuries and things of that, things like that. So let's just let's just give Victor some time. And we only got a small sample size. I mean, can we at least get past this season and next season? Even with Lamelo, I mean, I thought Lamelo would be up next, but I mean, he's he's been streaky. So, like, he was the youngest All Star, but then he got hurt, and some people are frustrated with him, some people not. But still, like, we gotta give these players some time. And to fall, it's the internet generation because we see a couple of things, and we're like, oh yeah, they up next. But you never know, like, but no, he's having a phenomenal several games so far. It's just a small sample size. We just got to wait to see. But what y'all think?